ouais, bon, dis-moi que ça va. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Good morning. Um, it's Tuesday, uh, the 19th. I officially have completed my precision nutrition, uh, nutrition coach training. So I am officially a certified nutrition coach. I also went and got my uh, ADHD diagnosis. I got that news on Saturday. So, uh, I'm officially diagnosed with ADHD. I can no longer be like, oh, I think I have ADHD. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I, I do. Um, so yeah, very exciting. On next Tuesday, I have a doctor's appointment to figure out, like, medications and stuff. So we're doing the things. We're being adults and we're getting it done. Slowly but surely, I just wanted to talk about that um, because I'm kind of proud of myself. I think, though, I have a headache. I think I'm going to lay down. Um, I got some new Yuri, which I'm really excited about. Um, I got the next two books um, for, what is it? A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow, and then I got the last book in Goodbye My Rose Garden. So I'm really excited to get to reading those. Um, I'm gonna go. I just wanted to share. Share my news. Hi. I've done literally fuck all today because I like finished that nutrition training and I was like, mm, no more. But we're gonna start. This is like, let me get you adjusted. This is like, I'm um, gonna be the start of my decluttering. What I want to do, what I want to do, first I haven't seen the house in person yet, so once I do that I'll get a little bit more of an idea of what I'm doing with my furniture. Um, but what I want to do is I want to, I have like my underwear and stuff in the closet and I want to move it to here. And I have organizers coming in and I think that'll be really helpful, but we're going to start by cleaning out this and re like putting clothes back away and stuff and figuring out like what I'm keeping and what. I don't know why my Lexus is like just recently listened to Night Train. Okay, so this is all the stuff I'm keeping. This is all the stuff I'm eating. 
this is stuff that needs to go in the closet. We'll get to the closet in a bit. I'm gonna fold this stuff and put it back. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. Um, like I said, I have organizers coming in, and I'm going to put all my like underwear and stuff in here, but right now I just have my pajamas. But this is so much more clean than it was before. I literally thought this drawer was like super full, and I was like, how am I going to fit all these things in here? Lies. Um, this is double stacked, which I normally wouldn't recommend doing, and I still might get rid of some shirts. Um, but it's kind of complicated when I'm not going to the gym right now, so it's hard to remember like what shirts should I keep or not. But we have my oversized t-shirts. Um, these are the ones that I wear the most. Then we have short sleeve crop tops, short sleeve crop tops, fitted t-shirts, which I don't wear a ton of fitted t-shirts. And, and, and in fact, if I'm going to start getting rid of stuff, it's going to come from the fitted t-shirt section. And then we have uh, short sleeve crop tops, right? Yeah, tank tops tank top, crop tops, sweaters, and then long sleeves. And then my pants, which again, I don't know if I said this already, I might move this up to the top drawer 
um, so that I have, I'm like have two pairs of pants that didn't fit in here and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, so I may move this to the top drawer because it's just like my comfy shorts. And then we have like yoga pants, which I actually only own uh, like four pairs of, which surprises a lot of people. <laughs> um, yoga pants, um, sweats, like nice pants, nice, I don't know. And then these are just shorts, strictly shorts. Um, yeah. have not verbally updated uh I don't know I don't think I did yesterday at all um I am currently in the process of decluttering um to make moving easier and it's going well this weekend is when I'm going to do like the majority of it doing a lot of reorganizing um I'm trying to decide if like do I need to keep packing stuff like not packing stuff like um mailing stuff and if not like, will my mom keep the mailing stuff? Because, like, I don't want to keep it. Um, and what I'm also going to do this weekend is try on every article of clothing that I own. Um, unless it's something that, like, I know fits and I know that I like it because I wear it all the time. Um, and if it doesn't fit and I don't like it, then I'm going to get rid of it. I'm just simply, um, I'm just going to get rid of it. So, anyway, it sounds like my lunch is here, so I'm going to go eat it. But... Right now my room is a hot mess, but I have plans. I have plans, and I have some stuff coming in the mail tomorrow to help with organization, so can't wait for that. Um, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm back, I ate, it was great. Um, game plan. Well, let's talk about books that I've read, right? We should start with that. I um, read The Hollow Places at the recommendation of Elle, and then I like gave my partner <laughs> I gave my partner a list of book titles and then their their descriptors, like no covers. So um, sometimes I just send my partner the covers and I'm like, pick a book and um, he hates that. But so this time I just sent him titles and descriptors and no book covers and no like author names or anything. Um, and he picked The Hollow Places and so I read that. Um, and then I made a list of all of the um, audiobooks that I have access to right now, so Scribd, Library, whatever. I made a list of all of them um, so that I know what to read in the next like little while because I'd like to just get them knocked out so I have a list. Um, so I went ahead and finished Memento, which I've had for a while, um, so I can officially like not read any more from Jay Kristoff. The only thing is that like when the next Aurora cycle comes out, is there another one? Or is it just a duology? I think there's going to be a third one. I will read that. I really like Amy Kaufman's writing. I don't like Jay Kristoff. So, um, it's very conflicting for me. Uh, I also... I'm going to start City of Ghosts. I literally have a list. Like a list of <laughs> books. And I have them listed from, like, shortest to longest because... I don't have an attention span lately. I'm gonna knock out the Yuri that I got in the mail the other day. I got a Tropical Fish Yarns for Snow 4 and 5 because I got approved the arc for 6 and then I got a Tropical- no, and then I got the last um, book in the Goodbye My Rose Garden series which means I've spent $30 on books? Yeah, I spent I spent $30.47 on books, which means that I have about $20 to carry over to next month unless I buy another book, um, which is great for me. Hooray. <laughs> um, I... What else did I read? I feel like I definitely... Oh, I finished The Cousins. It was okay. It was like a nice like beach read, which is... I've never understood when people said that, and then now having read The Cousins, I'm like, this would have been a nice like beach read. I don't like the beach. I'm not ever going to go to the beach, but and then I read I don't know. <clears throat> Nothing is real. How the King of Elfim learned to hate stories. Oh, I read that on Monday. It was really good. And the Inheritance Games I read over the weekend and it was really good. And Ring Shot I read over the weekend and it was really good. All of those were really good. 
Um, the Inheritance games especially. It was, it was a really fun, like, mystery. If you liked Truly Devious, you'd probably like the Inheritance games. Um, if you like anything with kind of, like, riddles and that kind of thing, also would like the Inheritance games. Um, How the King of Elfin came, the only problem I have with that book is that um, we don't have to talk about Cardin's tale. We don't. I want to live my life pretending that he doesn't have one because it's the only straight man that I... Is he straight? He's a fairy. They could... Um, the only one that I sent for. I'd let Cardin be mean to me. I think that says a lot and my therapist would be concerned about it. Anyway, um, Ring Shout was also really good. It was a really, really, really good horror, actually. I think everyone should read it. Literally, everyone should read it. The KKK are monsters! I mean, like, duh, they're monsters, right, like, in real life, but, like, they're the supernatural monsters that feed off of hate. Um, seems very cl You know, I bet if someone posted that on one of the QAnon, like, forums, we would turn them all from white supremacists to not. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to edit that out. Anyway, the plan for the weekend, because I'm gonna be home alone over the weekend. I'm so glad I post these like two weeks out and not like the week of, so nobody like comes to my house to kill me. Um, the plan for the weekend, like I was saying, is to try on all my clothes, and then I wanna take everything out from under my bed and go through all of that and organize that and take everything out of my closet, literally everything out of my closet, and organize that. I have a bookshelf in my closet, <laughs> because of fucking course I have a bookshelf in my closet. My old bookshelf, I don't know if you guys remember, but the brown bookshelf, it is in my closet. And right now it has like my purses in it. I think that I want to put my shoes in it, because I think that will change a little bit of the way that I have space laid out in my closet. But we'll see. I also have like a, a lot of boxes. Do you guys just like keep boxes? Because you think they look nice? Because I just keep boxes and I need to don't like why am I doing this why am I this person um another thing is that like I want to move my Keurig into my bedroom and change up the way my makeup is set up maybe but yeah that's what I want to do that's my plan for the day or for the weekend um I got under the bed storage that like rolls um so that's exciting I'm gonna put it together if I like it I'll buy a second one but yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go. I just wanted to update because I feel like I haven't really verbally updated in a while. I've been very busy. Yesterday I did something really fun, but I can't like talk about it until later. But I am very excited to share it with you guys when I can eventually talk about it. If you guys are on my Instagram uh, close friends list, then you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go. Okay, thanks, bye.
except that I have like a craft drawer and if they're both craft totes then I am <laughs> we're gonna sort that out because I don't craft that much why do I have so many candles okay um birthday candles those can go never been open I wonder what manic episode made me buy this. My mom got me this and I don't know how it works, but I'm interested in it enough to keep it. These are for monitors. My battery died. Um. Okay. Okay. Personally, I don't think I have enough tea lights. That's a joke. for the best. So a kind of craft container and then kind of like everything else. I'm not going to use this towel. Am I? No.
update at all yesterday. It is Saturday, just for context, um, because I passed out and hit my head and I'm home alone. Um, and so I had to call someone to come, come stay the night with me um, to make sure I didn't die. And uh, my hair looks like this because this is what I do to protect the curls. It's so much fun. Um, so I did an update. I will be finishing up Cleaning. Today is the day that I'm going to be doing my clothes where I wear all of my clothes. So I'm going to put on like a tank top with a built-in bra um, and I have shorts on, but that's my plan. Let me see if I can like show you one of the bruises from my... Yeah, okay, hang on. And so this is a bruise from my fall. Um, I have another one I thought, yeah, here. And then uh, this is also a bruise from my fall. Uh, normally, I know that I'm going to pass out, and so I have enough time to, like, sit down. Um, but in this instance, I didn't have a lot of fair warning, um, so I fell and hit my head, and I, my nose was bleeding, which was concerning. Um, I don't have a concussion, but I did have a friend come over to monitor me to make sure that I didn't have a concussion, um, because I couldn't make it back to my bed. Um, this was at, like, 8 o'clock at night, and I was so delirious that I messaged my friend and I was like, I'm so sorry, I know it's so late. And he's like, Andy, it's 8 p.m. And I was like, I know it's so late. It's so late, I'm so sorry, can you come over? Um, Bella and my partner obviously wanted to come over, but they live farther away. My friend John lives literally down the street, so that's why he came. Um, but yeah, we're good now, we're good. I feel fine, I rested all yesterday. That's why I didn't really film. All I filmed was me um, doing the camera, or not the camera, the Nintendo Switch remote situation, um, which turned out great. I My camera died, so I didn't get like all of it, but anyway, I'm gonna get ready for the day, have some coffee, feed the dogs, and we're gonna get started on this. So, let's go. Side note, I think me going through my clothes may become a different video because I think I have so much footage from me decluttering, so I may do like a decluttering video part two. So this vlog may actually be broken up into parts. I don't know yet, but we'll see. I just think that I have too much footage and it would be too long. I'm not gonna watch a 20 minute video of somebody cleaning out their closet and I don't think you are either. So, okay, thanks, bye. I've edited most of the footage um, up to Friday night, Thursday night, um, and can conclude that it is officially too long. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here, but I will update there will be a part two of this vlog for all of my cleaning. So I will see you guys in part two next Thursday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Hope you enjoyed watching me clean. Um, like I've said in like several vlogs, I will also be vlogging my packing to get ready to move. So there's that. I'm going to go. I got some shit to do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all of that jazz. Okay, thanks. Bye.